Hey yo, what's good everyone? Welcome to my channel, this is Mauro and today we're gonna check out a video about an Italian comedian in London. This is the part two, Francesco De Carlo in English. And I don't know, I haven't even watched the first part, so I don't know how it came out on, uh, you know, on my homepage in YouTube. I read some comments, you know, so many people were saying that uh, this guy is really funny. So I said, what the hell, you know, we reacted before to Louis C.K. I want to make more reactions to stand-up comedy because I think it's really funny and many people will enjoy it. So I don't want to waste too much time and let's check him out, shall we? You know what I noticed that in Italy we use uh, vowels much more than here. In Italy you... Ah, uh, that's... okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, I understand. So he's gonna make fun of Italian people in England. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. You can, you can use just vowels. You can express yourself just with wow, well, vowels uh, if you want to communicate with people. You can say, hey! <laughs> Which means, uh, hey! <laughs> Or if you want to say hello to someone, like a hello, how are you? Just say, oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's in Rome, that's in Rome, that's in Rome. Most people in Rome, I mean, that, that's mostly rude people doing that. They will do, be like, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. <laughs> in the north, it's more like, way, hey. <laughs> I'm not joking, I'm not joking. Or you can say, way, which ah, yeah. means I'm very happy to be alive in this wonderful day. Here, <laughs> yeah, my life sucks. I have a little wine and some tipsy. <laughs> Vowels in my country would be fine. Here is much, of, it's a, a more consonants. So there are some very hard words to, to pronounce to me, like, uh, for example, literature. Literature is so long to say literature. Is it good? Literature. <laughs> oh, that's so difficult. Literature. Li wow, that's really difficult. Liter literature. Oh my god, I cannot even pronounce it myself. That's crazy. Literature. Oh my god, that's impossible. Okay, okay, let's keep going with the video. Literature. Seven, six, literature. <laughs> it's not it's good. So you difficult. Have to it's so difficult. Don't make fun of my literature anymore. <laughs> literature. At the beginning, I, I thought it was a, like a Spanish dance. <laughs> like literature. <laughs> That's why I needed a, a, a course. <laughs> Imagine my, my, my surprise when I went to a literature course. <laughs> With leggings on. The webmaster. I don't understand the meaning of the, the webmaster. You know the guy who, you know, because it, I expect the master. Master is the master of the universe for me. You know the master. I so the master is like the, the lord of the web, like the, the king of the internet. And nine times out of ten, it's just a, a lonely guy, a very nerd guy, alone and still on the second life. Second life, oh my God. Very Second life, that must be a pretty old video. Insecure. <laughs> the and second life even exists anymore. Updates, uh, like the, the website of the gym. Grabbing. <laughs> uh, webmaster for me is a powerful word. Like a webmaster for me is just a, like a monster with big horns <laughs> going to a text store. Like a <laughs> 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 Crowds. <laughs> <laughs> run, run! There is a webmaster! Run! <laughs> run! <laughs> what do you want, master? A mouse! <laughs> he is a webmaster. <laughs> so, 
We use a lot of vowels in the south of Europe. Uh, here comes a little consonant. I think that this is my theory. Vowels in Italy, consonant and vowels here. Heisen, just consonants. <laughs> I never been to Heisen. <laughs> they don't use vowels. Because it's too, it's, it's too cold. <laughs> it's too cold. <laughs> The scientific explanation why in Iceland they don't use the concept. The vowels, oh my god, come on. That's crazy, that's crazy. But I thought that was Poland that they, they don't use the vowels, not Ireland. I don't know. Even the Carolams are different. In Italy, the Carolams is a wee, 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 wee. In Iceland, it's a Oh, they are stealing my car! They are stealing my car! I will call the police! It's a very long number. Just one. Papa? Which means police? Which means police. But! I noticed that poetry don't give a shit about the language. Poetry, poetry can be good no matter how ugly is your language. It can work wherever you are. Like even if you are a, a very bad language, you can have poetry. Ah, that's not true, that's not true. I think every language in the world is beautiful. It's, it's so good. You know, for any Italian is good. I'm very proud of my language. Because in Italy is uh, like, oh, guarda quel segnale laggiù. Sembra un'uscita di sicurezza, invece è un semplicemente una lampada verde con un uomo che corre. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? <laughs> just, it's yeah. just English. <laughs> He's talking about that lamp. Yeah. But Italians are, are lucky because we have this one that it's ready for poems. You know? Mm -hmm. What about We're lucky. Like We're this lucky. North, northern places with these ugly languages? Like, <laughs> oh, how can you express? Even there, poetry works. It was like a guy in love with a woman and was like. <laughs> 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 This is a very bad impression of a woman. I don't want to be offensive, but this is how you sound like to me. I am sorry. You know how men sound like to me? Oh, oh. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> um, uh, Tinder. Uh, <laughs> I don't know because I remember why I'm here. <laughs> I need a woman, basically. <laughs> I would say, I'd say, this is what I'd say. Like, I don't understand Tinder, because some, some, uh, on Tinder there are some, some women describing themselves, like, sapiosexual. This is a, a mm, word. Yeah. You know what this means? Sapiosexual? Sapiosexual? Uh, please, please, tell everybody. I think it's like a woman attracted to intelligence. Or I'm wrong. Intelligence better than... Oh, yeah, yeah, you see that, you see that. Oh my God, I'm so smart. <laughs> Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> That's why so many women like me. Just kidding. Of course they don't. <laughs> she's, she's right. Okay, basically, I discovered that it's like a sapiens and sexual. So, attracted by clever people. Mm. You know, it took me so long to understand this. <laughs> Sapiens is like, oh, sexual is like, ah. <laughs> yeah. So it took me so long because I saw, who would show off the attraction for a stupid guy? <laughs> who would say, you know, Mario, the guy who uses uh, mayonnaise instead of shampoo? <laughs> I would shag him. Not the best chef in the world. <laughs> this carbonara tastes like conditioner, but I want babies from it. Oh and another thing, last thing I don't understand oh thing that is that everyone says that no one nice stands. Yeah, no one's no hookah. Because uh, they say, like, if I don't want to miss someone. And I understand because men are creepy, you're totally right. I'm just saying, are you sure that is a bell?
It's perfectly in both. Okay, I would say there's a lot more in both. I have a problem. <laughs> no one is saying it's good because it's saying, are you sure that meeting a guy or meeting a person and having sex and then he disappears from your life is the worst case scenario? I don't swear about that. <laughs> because I'm not on Tinder to, for sex. I'm looking for a woman to share my depression with. <laughs> I want to talk for hours. I want to destroy your night. I want to talk about my mother and my ex-girlfriend. I want to talk about the fact that I feel that I'm the best comedian in the world. But audiences are not ready. <laughs> Two hours of me talking about all this shit and complaining about everything. You will ask for a one night stand. <laughs> you will say, Francesco, I will give you a wonky wonky right here, right now. And it's fucking Nando's. Okay, we gotta try that. That's, that's a cool strategy. You can stop talking about your miserable childhood. So the one night stand is not the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is me. My name is Francesco. <laughs> It's me. Oh my god, that was so funny. That was so funny. Oh my god, now I understand why so many people like this video and comment that this guy was a genius. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We don't get that a lot, right? Italian people in other countries making fun of Italians. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That was really nice. That was really nice. So let me know, guys, other videos that you want me to check out. A big shout out to Francesco De Carlo if you watch this video. You're amazing. I really enjoy watching watching this video so guys i hope you also liked it please keep on recommending me more videos to check out and i will see you next time